So we are back with another Hell Divers 2 patch update, and this one is pretty big, people. It's patch 01.000.200. Liberty, freedom, democracy. So let's go, guys. Now, the winner of my previous 2100 super credits giveaway you're seeing on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of this game? It's real simple. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 35 likes. That'd be unreal. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on on and do drop a comment down below i'll pick a winner from the comment section and announce them on tomorrow's how divers 2 video so good luck everybody okay so let's go again patch 01.000.200 good day how divers today we have a slightly bigger update for you all to assist in the liberation efforts of our galaxy as well as some new environmental threats to watch out for. May liberty guide your path. Overview. This update includes balance changes to missions, stratagems, weapons, enemies, and how divers. General fixes and stability improvements. Okay, so starting with gameplay. These are basically new planetary hazard additions. Blizzards and sand storms. Pretty cool. Okay, so balancing. Missions. Retrieve essential personnel. Move the enemy spawn points further away from the objective to give players a fairer chance of defending the location. There are a few civilians required to complete the mission and higher difficulties. Okay. Uh, destroy command bunkers. Okay, so this now has more objective locations. The mission was too easy before compared to other missions. It can now appear in operations from difficulty 5. Half the negative effect of operation modifiers that increase stratagem cooldowns or calling times. Okay, so now we move on to primary, secondary and support weapons. The Arc Thrower. Fixed charging inconsistencies. It will now always take one second to charge a shot. Arc Thrower. Reduce distance from 50 meters to 35 meters. Arc Thrower. Increased stagger force. Guard Dog. Now restores full ammo from supply boxes. Anti-material rifle. Damage increased by 30%. Wow! Not a bad change. Breaker incendiary. Damage per bullet increased from 15 per pellet to 20 per pellet. Fire damage per tick increased by 50% from all sources. Liberator penetrator. This now has a full auto mode. The Dominator. Increased damage from a 200 to 300. Dominator. Increased stagger. Diligence Counter Sniper, increased armor penetration from light to medium, that's a good change. The Slugger, reduced stagger. Slugger again, reduced damage from 280 to 250. Slugger, reduced demolition force. Slugger, fixed armor penetration tag in the menu. Okay, so the Slugger, Liberator Concussive, Senator. On these, the fixed incorrect armor penetration tags in the menu. Uh, okay, so the recoilless rifle increased the number of rockets you restore from supply boxes from two to three. Good change. The spear increased the number of missiles you restore from boxes from a one to two. Good change. Heavy machine gun, the highest fire rate mode reduced from 1200 rounds per minute to a more moderate 950 rounds per minute. Okay, so on to stratagems. Patriot exosuit rockets will now penetrate armor only on direct hit. Okay, interesting. Enemies. Balancing adjustments have been made to chargers. Normal melee attack now does less damage against exosuits. The bio spewer and nursing spewer do less damage with their puke. The bio titan can no longer be stunned. Wow. Shriekers no longer create bug breaches. Shriekers hitting you while they are dead now significantly does less damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so on to Haldiver. So balancing adjustments have been made to Heavy immediate armor protects better and you now take about 10% less damage than before while wearing that heavy armor and about 5% less when wearing that medium armor. Fortified commando and light armor is unchanged. Okay, so that's actually a decent change, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so on to fixes here. A fixed issue where save settings for PS5 would be reset when a game is rebooted. 
causing things such as loadout and hint settings to reset. This is a massive, massive change that we have called for for a long, long time. Pretty good. Enemies now properly target exosuits. Previously, many enemies effectively ignored exosuits uh, if a Helldiver on foot was available for them to target. Okay, so fixed exosuits being able to fire their weapons while opening the minimap. The Helldiver and the Exosuit both had a bug that made them sometimes take explosion damage multiple times making things like automaton rockets be too deadly. This is now fixed. Great great change and fix there. Automaton enemy constellations that prefer to spawn more of a certain devastator types did not work and are now functioning as they should. This means that sometimes when playing against the automatons you will face more devastators instead of other enemy types okay so we now move on we have improved a system that prevents help steering close to large or important objects we have solved issues where the effective area around objects was a lot harder than intended we have reduced the number of objects that prevented help steering note the system is intended to prevent soft locks where players can drop on important interaction points or drop into unintended places we will continue to monitor the state of the system after the update to see if additional tweaks are necessary. Okay, cool. So they fixed cases where the ground under summer sits could be bombed, causing them to float. Okay, so we move on to ballistic shield changes. Collision mesh has been slightly increased in size for more forgiveness. Okay, cool. Change shield poses so that less of the how diver is exposed. Address the bug where parts of the Howl Dive will become vulnerable while using the shield in the first person. Okay, so known issues. These are issues that were either introduced by this patch and are being worked on or are from a previous version that have not yet been fixed. A game might crash when picking up a snowball or throwing back a grenade. Okay, so previous issues involving friend invites and cross play. Cross-platform friend invites might not show up in the friend request tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriended via friend code. Players cannot unblock players that were not in their friends list beforehand. Players cannot befriend players with Steam uh, named short and free characters. Explosive weapon stats include only direct hit damage but not explosive damage. Explosions do not break your limbs except for when you fly into a rock. Planet Liberation reaches 100% at the end of every Defend mission. Drowning in deep water with a Vitality Booster equipped puts Helldivers in a broken state. Stratagem Beam might attach itself to an enemy, but it will deploy to its original location. Some player customization like title or body type may reset after restarting the game. So again, those are issues that were either introduced with a patch or have been here for some time now, like the frame request issues we have seen. I mean, I'm surprised they've not been fixed yet. But there we have it, guys. That is the end of the patch notes. Patch of 01.000.200. Some great, great changes here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, a lot more nerfs and a lot more balancing buffs than I expected. But it's good times, people. It's good times. But there we have it. And let me know your thoughts down below. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.